Now, let's think for a moment. What if, instead of building spaceships to move across the stars, a super-advanced civilization decided to turn their entire star system into a spaceship? That means a whole sun, the planets, all the asteroids, zooming through the galaxy together. That's what one philosopher, Clement Vidal, suggested in his recent space theory. There could be countless reasons why these extraterrestrials might decide to explore space. Maybe the star nearby is about to go supernova, blowing up and destroying everything nearby, including their home system. Or maybe they're searching for new resources somewhere in outer space or trying to spread life. But our galaxy has a minor problem. It's incredibly huge. So even if they move with the speed of light, getting from one star to another would take a gazillion years. Ooh. However, if we could just move our entire solar system, that would be convenient. We wouldn't have to change a thing or look for another star system and planet. How, though? Well, they'd use their own star as an engine. Literally, a stellar engine. All they'd need to do is push their star and everything orbiting it in a specific direction. You must cause the star to spit out material unevenly, creating a kind of thrust. It's like our rocket propulsion, but applied to entire stars. When more material ejects on one side of the star than the other, it acts like a rocket, slowly nudging the entire system along. Over time, they could steer it to wherever they want. Now, this isn't just some goofy idea. Well, maybe. But many scientists have proposed different models for how a stellar engine could work, and how we humans could use it. The most famous one is called the Shikadov thruster. Here, the idea is to use a giant reflective mirror to push a star gently in one direction by reflecting its sunlight. Other designs propose ejecting mass from the star itself. Of course, that'd be insanely hard for humans to pull off, but a super-advanced civilization might just do it. And it might not be as hard as it sounds. There are already stars in the galaxy that move at incredible speeds. They're called hypervelocity stars. These stars are so fast, they can escape the galaxy itself. Their story begins in the heart of the Milky Way. At the center of our galaxy lies a monster, a supermassive black hole with gravity so intense, nothing can return from it. We even took a shot of it a while ago. Remember this one? It's called Sagittarius A star. We start with a pair of binary stars. They are similar in mass and orbit each other. Sometimes they stray too close to a black hole. When this happens, one star can get captured by the black hole, its fate sealed, while the other gets the wildest roller coaster ride of its life. It's like a crazy slingshot. It's hurled outward with unimaginable force. These exiled stars gain incredible speeds, like over a million miles per hour, and become hypervelocity stars. Now, this doesn't happen that often. Maybe one hypervelocity star is flung from the galactic center every 100,000 years. And with over 100 billion stars in our Milky Way, finding them is worse than needles in a haystack. But even so, we managed to find about a thousand such exiles in our galaxy. But anyway, could these superfast travelers be extraterrestrial starships? Maybe it's some wild move other civilizations decided to pull off, getting slingshot by a black hole so they could travel wherever they want at wild speeds. Now, most hypervelocity stars studied so far are single stars. But what about binary systems themselves? This binary system we mentioned would make this whole process of turning a star into a spaceship much easier. Another civilization could focus their efforts on one star in the pair. The interaction between the two stars could be used to fine-tune direction and spin, like a built-in steering wheel. It would also help use energy more efficiently. Let's try implementing this. Take a neutron star. This is what's left behind after a huge star reaches its end – its tiny, incredibly dense version. These little neutron stars are often paired with the small and normal ones. Neutron stars have some insane gravity. This could help them provide the energy needed to push the whole system. So if an extraterrestrial civilization decided to build a machine like this, 
they'd probably do that near a binary system like this. But would our extraterrestrial friends settle for basic binary systems? Actually, they could go even further, for a wilder, more efficient option – Black Widow pulsars. Ooh. This is the most dramatic type of a binary system. A neutron star spins with unbelievable speed and doesn't just hang out with its companion star, but slowly devours it. These two create such a thrilling gravitational dance, it's both destructive and beautiful. As the neutron star spins, it just keeps flinging torrents of high-energy particles right into space, and all of them clash with the fragile remnants of its poor little partner. Can you imagine that this energy could be harvested? All these options – hypervelocity stars, binary systems, and spider pulsars – would be great for this stellar engine project. A civilization that had this type of engine could gradually explore and colonize the galaxy, all while having its own energy source and planets with them. But how do we know whether these starships actually exist? Astronomers look for something called technosignatures. These are little clues and hints something that looks unusual for normal celestial bodies. For example, things like weird motion in binary systems, or stars that eject material in weird unnatural ways. They could all mean that there's some technology being used there. We haven't any evidence of that so far, but there are candidates. There are two Black Widow pulsars that look strange. Clement Vidal, the author of the paper, says that we should look at those systems closely, just in case. And even if it turns out that this idea is incorrect, we can still use it as an inspiration for ourselves. If extraterrestrial civilizations won't do this before us, we might just pioneer that technology. And speaking of techno-signatures, besides these starships, NASA is also looking for signs of megastructures in space. Maybe other civilizations don't treat their stars as some sort of chariot horses, but simply use them as a giant energy source. Life needs energy to survive, whether it's microbes, animals, or smart human-like civilizations. As life evolves, its energy demands skyrocket. Now, we started with fire, then moved to coal and oil, and now we're exploring solar power. One day, we might start harvesting the power of our sun directly. Maybe advanced extraterrestrial creatures are already doing this. On Earth, a physicist, Freeman Dyson, proposed the idea of a Dyson sphere – a huge structure around a star that can harvest its energy. Like one enormous solar panel, but right around the sun. Sounds crazy to us, but we might find it somewhere out there. Once again, astronomers are checking techno-signatures to spot those. For example, they've analyzed data from over 5 million stars trying to find weird signals, flickering, or anything that can't be explained by dust or similar stuff. If we're talking about a Dyson sphere, then eating a star's energy would make it radiate a lot of infrared heat. That means we'd notice a telltale glow. Eventually, they narrowed it down to 368 possible suspects. They checked those, and only 7 stars remained. These stars show strange light patterns that we really can't explain yet. These stars are mostly small, faint red dwarfs. One of them is especially famous, called Tabby Star. It blinks and dims in weird random ways, dropping in light by 22% from time to time. Astronomers aren't sure whether it's some broken moon flying around it, dust, or a Dyson sphere. In any case, they'll keep looking for these techno clues. Let's hope we'll learn the truth someday. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.